Hey everybody, Norm over here. I've got my buddy Albert Lee, the legendary Albert Lee, the great Albert Lee, <laughs> fantastic Albert Lee, the fantastic Jim Kornfeld here mm -hmm. doing a, a book called Environmental Portraiture. Right. And that's going to be out in 2017. It's going to be killer. And Jim, tell us a little bit about the book. Well, we're, uh, we're doing various uh, scenarios of portraiture, environmental portraiture, where we photograph a person with, in the context of where they work or live or whatever. Uh, Albert is one of the subjects that we're doing, and uh, clearly we wanted this wonderful background because this is what he does, so uh, that's why we're here. And by the way, this guitar is one of the most historical guitars. Albert, for years, played with the Everly Brothers, and Don Everly gave you this guitar. Tell us a little bit about it. How long have you had this? Uh, since the 80s, I think, yeah. I was working with him. I met him, uh, I met him in 73, 74, out in Calabasas, and we used really? to play at the Sundance Saloon. I played at the Sundance uh, yeah, for Helen once over there. twice yeah. a week, and uh, we became big buddies. He, he was on his own then, he, he'd split up with his brother. Uh -huh. And uh, he took this out to the Sundance a few times, you know, and of course I, <laughs> I fell in love with it. I, I'd seen pictures of it like years before, you know. So he took it out of his car. Well, the, oh, Everly, no, Brothers, no, no. the Everly Brothers were, yeah, I mean, to everybody in the States here and across uh, the pond. Uh, certainly in England, yeah, yeah. Just so influential on everybody. Yeah. So. Icons, yeah. Yeah, I was doing quite a few sessions then back in the 70s, and uh, I used to borrow his guitars, you know. I, I had this guitar, and I had his, uh, uh, the, the real icon, which is his southern jumbo that he did Bye Bye Love and Wake oh, yeah. Up Little Susie, yeah. and everybody thinks Very cool. that he yeah. did it on the, did them on a J200. Well, I you know? can see this is a white label, so this it's is pretty early. It's yeah. a 58, yeah. Uh -huh. This is just, I think this was the, the third guitar they had. They had uh, sunburst ones, mm -hmm. and uh, he gave he gave one to his father, and then they had black ones, all black with black pick guards, and uh, I, th for years, I thought that they just had taken the pick guards off and put white ones on. But then I met a guy who, who had pictures of the two black ones, a guy in Nashville, so that. For some reason, they unloaded them both, you know. They, and they both had the white guard Everly. Yeah, like this. so Phil's, when, Phil's son has Phil's one. You know, now, I yeah. don't know if this is just, you know, how it came out in the picture, but there was one picture with one where they were playing, and it almost looked like the guitars were green. Now, I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, no, that, that, that followed the, these these. This guitars. was this they, guitar? They were like a gray. Gray and, or green. And they, they didn't like them because they wanted a, a color that they didn't like, so they, I think they both gave them away to... Friends. Yeah. Well, very nice. But anyway, I, uh, uh, Don's wife Karen knew that how much I, I loved this guitar, and they were chatting about it one day because I'd been working with Don, singing with him. I was an Everly brother for uh -huh. a little while. Cool. And they said, "Well, you know, Albert really loves that guitar. You know, maybe you know, maybe we should give it to him." Uh, and um, they did. To my surprise, they gave it to me. And it's just as well because he had a lot of his guitars stored. In Nashville, at a storage oh, place. Oh, where that went down? And uh, and where there was it, a flood that. Oh point? no, no, this is long, long before, before that, that. Someone stole a bunch of his guitars, really, including his his first J two hundred that he'd given to his father. Wow. You know, but if this had been in there, that would have gone too, probably. So you were in Everly Brothers for a while. For a little while, yeah. I, I, I you sang. have different accents. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I sang with Don, you know. Yeah, that and then when they got back together, I did 26 years with them on the road. You know. Wow. Uh, Albert, could you play a little bit of Everly Brothers right. stuff on Here's this? Here's a lick I learned from Don. I, I, I think he learned from this from his father, and he used it okay. on Gone, Gone, Gone. Uh, <laughs> kind of got that like, wake up little Susie thing happening there too. Oh uh, right? yeah. Well that 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 was done with open strings with the capo up here. On really? Wake up a little Susie. Yeah. That's the secret. That. Yeah. That's how they got the sound. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Well, um, I, we're so honored to have these guys in here, and they're doing this a uh, couple shots for this book, and uh, you know we. 
the door is always open, open to Albert and Jim over here. And uh, I can't thank you enough for choosing this store to do this. Oh, well, you're very kind to let us have the space yeah. and the time here. Thank we you. Really My pleasure. It. The two legends, <laughs> Albert <laughs> and Jim. Thanks. And then there's me. But, uh, <laughs> the real <laughs> I messed the whole thing up. Room. Sorry about that. But uh, I'll, I'll, I apologize for me. But these guys are something special. Albert Lee, Jim Cornfield.